Commander, we're getting a reading. Eagle One in orbit and holding. 20 seconds, visual contact. We have link up with onboard computer. 15 seconds, visual contact. Eagle One still holding. Eagle One breaking orbit now. Punch in long range cameras. Vital signs normal. Alpha to Eagle One, do you copy? Alpha to Eagle One, do you copy? Keep trying, Paul. Eagle One, are you receiving me? How many Eagle One? Commander, preliminary results from onboard computer coming through NASA. Good. Subject, planet. Designated code name, Terra Nova. Terra Nova? You is. Just what we're looking for, isn't it? Resources to sustain human life. Unlimited. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Eagle One to Moonbase Alpha. Sir, you're not going to believe it, but I think we made it this time. Commander, I've seen rivers and trees, lakes, mountains, valleys. It's just like Earth. Any sign of intelligent life? That's the beauty of it. The planet seems empty. It's just waiting there for us. No! Eagle One, this is Alpha. Do you copy? Are you receiving me? Come in, Eagle One. Contact lost, Commander. Vital life signs. Not registering. Eagle One, this is Alpha. Do you copy? Are you receiving me? Eagle One, come in, please. Commander? Flight pattern shows Eagle One on course and closing. Eagle systems functioning. Vital signs normal. Emergency touchdown procedure. All systems on yellow alert. Final approach. Flight pattern? Normal. Still on automatic. Emergency red. This was only a two-man crew. What?
you're absolutely certain it's him. Yes. It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. But, John, I know my own husband. He's been dead five years. Yes, he has. He's been presumed dead. Matthias will be in Dr. Russell's quarters. If there's any change in their condition, let us know immediately. Yes, Commander. Wasn't he on the Astro 7 mission? The Astro 7, yes. And the mission failed. What? They got locked in orbit around Jupiter. Something like that. They, they lost contact. As I remember, it was radiation. The ship burned up. I don't know. They just lost contact around Jupiter. Helena, we're billions of miles from Jupiter. John, we may be billions of miles from Jupiter, but Lee is here. He is here. Many things have happened since we broke away from our solar system. Unexplainable things. But this time, we might just have a chance of getting some answers. I mean, if he Dr. is Russell. your husband, Yes. Something strange, Doctor. Could you come to the care unit straight away? Yes. Check the equipment. Yes. It's functioning perfectly, but it's still not recording his vital signs. How is it? Normal. And why are the instruments recording? I don't know. Let's find out. Connell, what does the computer have on Russell? He checks out. It's him all right, Commander. Uh, just a minute, John. Uh, the only information we have on Russell comes from his wife's file. Now, that's too limited. Analysis of the data does suggest that the planet is just right for us, sir. Commander, the accident to the probe pilot to set phase two behind schedule. Paul, how much time do we have for phase two? Twenty hours. In phase three? A total evacuation of moon base Alpha will take 48 hours. Kano? If we cut phase two in half, how will that leave us? We could do it, sir, but only just. Then we postpone phase two by 10 hours. That should give us enough time to check out Russell. People are wondering why phase two is not taking place now, sir. Captain, I'm not going to jump the gun on this. I'm not going to endanger the lives of any more pilots until I know what happened to that ship. But, sir, it can't be, Russell. It just can't be. I repeat. Until we know what's going on, we do not go down on that planet. Lee? Lee, can you hear me? It's me, Lee. What is this place? Lee, you're in a hospital room. We're on, on Moon Base Alpha. Helena, I came to you. I came because...
Victor, what do you think of it? I don't know. But I have a guess. What? Well, our instruments are designed to respond to human biological stimuli as we know them. But assuming Russell was stranded on Terra Nova for five years, then perhaps some aspect of that planet's environment might have caused him to adapt to change in some way, which our instruments can't record. Victor, that's all well and good, but it, it doesn't answer my immediate questions. I mean, how did he get onto that eagle? Did he have any effect on our pilots? Can he be of help to us? What does he know about that planet? You want me to bring him out of it with metrazine? I must talk to him. John, there are things about his condition that we don't understand. Can it wait? Wait? A little longer, at least. In three days, we'll be out of range of that planet. Every hour that passes lessens our chance of finding a decent home. There are 300 lives, Helena. Can you or I deny them that chance? All right. <laughs> That's the maximum, sir. I can't give him any more. I'm Commander Cody. I've got to speak to you. It's all right, Lee. I'm right here. Commander Koenig is a friend. He's going to ask you some questions. I must speak to Helena. It's important to all of us. How do you get on that planet? I'm sorry, John. He's got to rest. All right, but you stay with him. Lee? This place, Helena, tell me. Tell you what? This place, where is it? We're on moon base Alpha Lee. There was an accident. The moon was blown out of Earth orbit. What do you want? We think we found what we want. A new world, some place to live. Your planet, we're going to colonize it. We could be together. time prediction on phase two. Hasn't changed, Commander. We've peaked your optimum takeoff time. There's just two hours before we have to abandon phase two. I thought you said we had an emergency. Did I, sir? Must have been mistaken. Sandra, no bad news for me yet? Nothing, Commander. Almost too good to be true. That's nice. Oh, Commander, we are going down, aren't we? What's going to stop us? found her on the floor of the care unit. You all right? Oh, I'm fine. I've checked her over. There's no damage. Thank you, Doctor. 
I must have passed out. Helena? It's not like you to just pass out. Now, what's wrong? I don't know. Lee and I were talking. What? He talked? Yes, a little. What did he say? Not much. It was just before I fainted. Did he talk about the planet? I don't remember. No, John, I'm sure he didn't. I would have remembered that. Helena, you're sure? Really sure he's your husband? Yes, I'm sure of that. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, it... How do you feel? Just a little tired, that's all. John, we are going down there, aren't we? When we're sure, it's safe to do so. These are some thermographic scans I did of Lee Russell. Normally, they'd have been passed to Helena for analysis, but uh, Matthias was worried that they might upset her. You'll see why in a moment. Now, as you know, these plates respond to body heat. There you are. Lee Russell. And from this, he seems to be perfectly normal. Uh, you can uh, see the areas of body heat, brain, vital organs, and the uh, cold areas, yellows, all just as it should be. Oh, that hand at the bottom of the picture, then that's Helena's. But now, look at this. I don't get it, Victor. It's not a living being. No, exactly. No, there's nothing there. No body heat. No reds at all, just yellow. And yet, when this scan was taken, he was breathing. His heart was beating. And now, look at this. Yeah. Normal again. Is Lee Russell dead or alive? I don't know. According to that picture, he's alive. And that one says he's dead. Take your choice. Of course, as I said, this may simply be a symptom of his having learned to adapt to living on that planet. I don't go for that, Victor. He was on that planet five years. It takes billions of years for a human being to adapt that radically. So we've always thought on Earth. But we're a long way from home. And we're going to have to start thinking differently if we're going to come to terms with space. Victor, where was Helena when the second scan was taken? Certainly not in the care unit. So she's with him for the first and last scan. And they're normal. And then she leaves him. And this happens. That's right. Very strange, isn't it? Whatever life force sustains him, he's drawing it from some outside source. From Helena. Mr. Russell, please. You should be in bed. Huh? What? I don't know. You're not well. 
I want Helena. Yes, in a moment. Oh! No. Stay away. How did you get there? That's not important. How? Come on, I don't know how I got there. How long I've been there. How did you board our ship? Please, you're wasting time. And help us, Mr. Russell. Tell us what you know. I know. You're in danger, all of you. From what? Is the planet inhabited? No. Yes. Not in the way you think. You must not go near that planet. Mr. Russell, we're marooned here on Alpha. We cannot survive indefinitely. You cannot go down there. That is a decision for us to make. You face power beyond your understanding. It will destroy you. What is this power in this danger? Your opposite. Will annihilate you. Our calculations show that planet is perfectly suitable for human life. At least wait till we find out why Russell died. Commander Koenig. Essential. 
Marshal, we have flight coordinates for phase two probe. Not yet available. Keep circuits on standby. We're cutting it very fine, sir. I know how fine I'm cutting it, Kano. Thank you. Victor, we've got to go. We've got to find out all we can about Russell, alive or dead. For the sake of the mission, we must wait. Matthias will rush the autopsy through. All right, let him go ahead, but I'm not waiting for the results. I'm putting phase two into operation right now. Okay, but just let me have an hour. For what? To run some skin tests on Russell. Well, all right. John. Has Helena been told? Yeah, yeah, she knows. Come in. Helena, I... I've already said it all to myself, John. I don't blame anyone for what happened to Lee. My decision to interrogate him could have something to do with it. Could have. We simply don't know. The autopsy should give us some of the answers. As a doctor, of course, I'm interested. As Lee's wife, I'd rather forget. For the first time I lost Lee, I thought I'd never survive it. Now that it's happened again, I'm just numb. I guess I never really had him back. I'm all right. Reconnaissance section reports Eagle 2 on standby. All equipment checked and loaded. Planetary data programmed into onboard computer. Fine. Hello? Yes, Lord. Have you worked up the new flight plan yet? If we leave within the next 30 minutes, we'll make it. But it will cut our surface operating time to zero minimum. Fine, thank you. We need a definite time for phase two launch, Commander. John. Victor, I've made my decision. And well, this is about Lee Russell. Lee Russell is dead. Now, the skin test. Wherever he was, wherever he came from, doesn't matter to us now. His influence on us is gone. Don't you agree, Helena? Well, in that sense, I'd have to, John, but please, listen. But you do agree there's nothing stopping us from going down there? John, just hear me out. I put all the data on Russell's skin tissue through the particle analyzer. Now, the structure of his skin was normal while he was alive. But since his death, it shows that the atomic structure of his body is changing. There are definite signs of reversed polarity. And that change is becoming more pronounced, the reversal more complete. Reverse polarity? You're talking about something that's just speculation. Yes, but reverse polarity is the first stage in the process towards antimatter. And as soon as that process is complete, it means annihilation. That's just a theory. Yes, it is just a theory so far. But if it's... Sorry, Victor, it's not enough. That's your decision. Yes, it is. Helen? Sir? Phase two Eagle will lift off in 15 minutes. Right, Commander. Paul? Commander? Activate Operation Exodus maximum alert. If phase two goes well, I want everyone off this rock in minutes. They'll be ready. Yes, we're going down to Terra Nova. Now, we don't know what we'll find there. There's an awful lot about the planet we don't understand. At best, it's a calculated risk. But there's a chance. A chance to find a place to live, to raise families, and to start again. Now, the landing party. Many of you qualify. This is my choice. Captain Carter, into pilot. Paul Morrow, analyst Sandra Bench. Dr. Russell, will you come? Yes. Phase two landing party will be under my command. We'll rendezvous at assembly point three, 
at 13.25 lunar time. Thank you. Victor? Victor, I'd like you to stay back here on Alpha. For any reason, if things don't go too well, I'd... I'd like you to take over my command. All right. Good luck, John. Checks now complete, sir. Countdown continuing. 20 seconds to take off. John, something very serious. 18 seconds. The autopsy, Lee Russell. What's happened? 16 seconds. His body's vanished. Vanished? John, abort the mission. On what grounds? Lee Russell's warning. Seven seconds. And antimatter. The risks are tremendous. Five seconds. What do we do, Commander? Please, reconsider. Sorry, Victor. We'll just have to face those risks. All right, Captain, lift off. It does look good, and the computer agrees. Atmosphere, 22 parts oxygen, 71 parts nitrogen, outside temperature, 23 degrees, gravitational pull similar to Earth. And please be careful. Don't approach any animal life, no matter how friendly or harmless it appears, and don't eat any vegetation without carrying out the appropriate tests. Paul, you and Sandra will cover this hilly area to the right. Helena and I will take this wooded area to the left. Carter, yes, sir. you stay on the ship. You'll leave it under no circumstances. The rest of us will rendezvous back here at 1,800 hours. If for any reason we're not back, it means we're in trouble. All right. As long as you keep your locator beams on, we'll find you. Well, here we go. Good luck. Thank you, Carter. Commander. Water? Let's find out. Readout normal so far. Have a drink on me, John. Will you join me? 
I'd be delighted. Clear, fresh water. <laughs> That's the end of the show for now. We'll call you back in 10 minutes. All right, John. I haven't enjoyed a picture that much for a long time. Main mission standing by. Paul, how are you doing? Oh, fine, sir. No dangerous elements so far. OK, Paul, keep in touch. Come in, Alpha. John, we've got trouble here. Computer shows all atmosphere seals are weakening. All the seals? All of them, including the plastics on your eagle. Get Carter to check it out, and we'll work on it from here. Carter? Yes, sir. What's your situation? Well, the uh, insulation's beginning to act up a bit. Doesn't seem serious, Commander. Maybe not, but I'm recalling the landing party. Get ready for liftoff. Yes, sir. Helena, we're going back to the Eagle. What's wrong? Paul? Yes, sir? You and Sandra head back to the Eagle. But, sir... Do as I say. Yes, sir. It's worse than we thought, John. The plastic seals are melting. Our atmosphere screens are just burning up. We could use another Eagle up here. Difficult. Can't vouch for their serviceability. Carter? Commander? I got smoke pouring from the instrument panel. All the seals on the ship are melting. Punch in onboard camera. Carter, get out of there. Oh, God, get out! All the systems have failed! Carter, we're on our way. Let's go. Paul, Sandra, quickly! This laser exploded. Let's get rid of it.
almost made it. You and I. orbit around Jupiter. Our heat shields burned up. We were affected by an unknown form of radiation, I suppose. It transformed us, scattered us into deep space. What I became, what I am now, ended up here on this planet. But you died. No. Nobody dies. Matter never dies, Helena. It changes its form. There are many forms of life in space and many forms of death, too. I'm the image in the mirror, the opposite myself. Antimatter. If you like. But I couldn't survive in your world. And you can't survive in mine. That's why you must leave now. You've experienced what can happen here. It will get worse, much worse. You must leave now. How? Huh? I'll give you the strength. See what you want to see. Not stay here, John. Paul and Sandra are waiting in the Eagle as instructed, Commander. Stand by. Fifteen minutes to lift off, John. Operation Exodus ready when you give the word. Cancel Operation Exodus.
Commander, you know those feasibility programs we've been running on main computer? Yes, what about them? Well, it seems our present trajectory will take us past something like 10 million planets. Well, it means we should pass near to 3,600 Earth-type planets, statistically. Now, that means about 10 Earth-type planets for every one in Alpha. And how much older will you be by the time we reach the first of these Earth-type planets? Not very much, Professor. Relatively speaking, that is. More to the point, Kano, have you computed how much older you'll be when we reach the last of those planets? 2,543 years old, to be exact, sir. Just thought you might like to know. Thank you, Kano.